found ourselves out of the water. A big hippopotamus. We've been seeing plenty of them, and it's really not hard out here to find hippos out of the water. You can find them out of the water almost every single day. Now, that looks like a male hippopotamus to me. I'll let you guess why. But I wonder where he's been. And they always look like they're tiptoeing, like they've been caught in the act, and they're trying to very carefully get back to where they've come from, so the water, and um, without being caught. That's what I've decided that a hippo looks like. See, they're just trying to creep. Can you imagine? Da -dum, da -dum. And then he needs to pick up the pace. It would have been great timing if he did that. Thanks, hippopotamus. <laughs> but um, on his way, maybe he's not even going to go to the river. Perhaps he's heading towards the tree line. There is lots and lots of water in some of these luggers after all the rain that we've had. And it would be quite nice now, especially on these hot days, because you can imagine from all the animals going through it and, you know, feeding along the banks, hippos going for afternoon, not hippos, elephants going for afternoon swims, it's probably all churned up too and quite muddy, which would be quite nice to coat the skin, don't you think? Especially with, uh, with again, the hot weather. It would be good for them. But we're going to keep searching for the Angama Pride. They seem to have moved out of their favorite area. Jamie is on the hunt, and she's found something that likes to hunt.